Welcome to Tomorrow Daily, the best beef talk show in the known universe. I'm Ashley Esqueda. And I'm Jeff Kanata. Hey, you got your eyes back. Yes, thank you for filling in for me yesterday. Uh, I really appreciate it. I'm back to give you some headlines. And I am excited about this one. Hyperloop One has just completed its first open air propulsion test in the Nevada desert. Hyperloop Technology changed its name to Hyperloop One last night and today sent an electric motor down a half mile long test track at speeds of up to 300 miles per hour. This was an open air test, even though Hyperloop's official concept is basically maglev pods hurtling through tubes at speeds of up to 750 miles an hour. But it's still pretty exciting to see some official real world testing begin for the futuristic transportation model. Three companies are currently racing to be the first to operate a Hyperloop system, and Hyperloop One officials believe their final product could be delivered as soon as the year 2020. I want this to be a real thing so bad. I think this is the most brilliant concept. I mean, they're saying a commute from LA to San Francisco would be 30 minutes. Are which you is kidding? less That's amazing. than it takes for me to drive to the office in Ber LA <laughs> yeah. right now from That's my house. Less than the trip from LA to LA. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Which is pretty intense. Yeah, uh, I, oh, it's so exciting. I may, I'm super excited about it too. Just keep going, Hyperloop One, as fast as you can. Uh, hey, everybody. Have you been feeling a little wrinkly lately? Crow's feet got you down? Well, guess what? Uh, now this may never be a problem again. Scientists at a variety of labs have worked together and are now showing off a new material that temporarily tightens up your skin and smooths out wrinkles. It's a silicone-based polymer, and researchers discovered that test subject skin could be reshaped and hydrated after applying a layer of the gel. So what's this stuff good for? Obviously, the cosmetics industry is going to be very interested in this material, but one of the paper's authors, depicted in the video, says it can also be used to deliver drugs locally to a patient, provide long-term UV protection from the sun, and treat chronic skin conditions. I'm so curious what this feels like. We are going to look 10 years old but is on it, the next show. Is it good? <laughs> Thank goodness. We're going to de-age like 30 years. Does it feel like wearing a mask? What does it feel like? I mean, I don't know, but they you see in the video, the guy like pinches the under eye skin of that old lady and like, and the side with the this polymer just smooths right out as if as if her skin just bounced back like it was hydrated and you much, much younger. Wild. So weird. I think both of these stories are incredible. I, I don't know how to pick what we talk about on Thursday. I know, I know. I think, um, I mean, I think what we do is maybe we'll just do a, what I like to call a headline scramble and we'll basically, we might pick two stories from one day and none from yesterday. Well, let's know. find out what the people want. You yes. guys can always weigh in and, you know, I think the stories that get the most comments on Twitter using our hashtag HeyTD might influence our decision. I suggested that yesterday on yesterday's I like show. I think, I think you guys can carry this one this week, mostly because we are too lazy and too excited about both these stories to pick one. That's right. Um, and if you give us great comments, we will, of course, incorporate them into our long discussion on uh, tomorrow's show. I just want to be hurling through a Hyperloop with perfect skin. Yes, me too. <laughs> it's all I've ever wanted, you guys. Peak civilization. That's yeah. what peak civilization truly is. All right, phone talker for the day. Today's phone photographer of the day is Andrew, who took this picture on his iPhone 6S. Andrew writes to us, my name is Andrew Hoderman. This is my photo in Vancouver, BC, right by the train station. The flowers are blooming on the trees and mother nature is bringing in spring, as I'd like to say it. Thank you guys at CNET for having all the shows. I especially thank the team on the show tomorrow daily. Oh, thank you, Andrew. You do have permission to use this photo. Uh, that's a great spring picture. Yeah. Clear, clear blue sky. I love when the, the, the flowers are in bloom. In my neighborhood, actually, uh, there's a bunch of rose bushes uh, around, mm -hmm. and we were walking along, and uh, my wife and I, and uh, she stopped and, and smelled the roses, and I went, you're doing the thing that you people tell you to do. The you're literally you doing it. cross-stitched into a pillow. Yeah. You're doing it you right now. You literally stopped Amazing. to smell them. Uh, if you guys stop to smell some roses or some other spring-like things, you can send in your, your spring-themed photography to tomorrow at CNET.com. Yeah, be sure to let us know what device you took it on. Give us permission to use it on the show. Tell us how to pronounce your name. And we love hearing a little story about why you took that picture. Fiction or nonfiction, both accepted. <laughs> uh, you can also find us on social media. We're Tomorrow Daily uh, everywhere. I've been very active on the Instagram. You'll start seeing like little videos and pictures from thumbnails from the shows and stuff. 
Uh, and also, you can share the show with a friend, which we always appreciate. Thank you so much for doing that by sending them to TomorrowDaily.com. Uh, that is it for today's show. We'll be back tomorrow with the creator of Honest Trailers. Ooh, who's going to talk to us. Andy, he's going to talk to us about uh, having Ryan Reynolds as Deadpool in the most recent Pretty Honest great. Trailers. Yeah. Really, really cool. So watch that Honest Trailer and then come back to tomorrow's show to see the interview with Andy Signori. So uh, that is it for today's show, guys. Until next time. Be good humans. See ya.